What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And in this episode we've got a bit of a weird one because the AI is attacking me despite having no real troops in any fine shape to attack a city. Uh, but nevertheless they want to give it a go. So this should be fairly quick. So we've got two breaches pointing the right way and we can um, fortify them with stakes and most of the cavalry will die long before they get to my city. But in general, this Louisiana campaign is going pretty, pretty well. And I'm looking forward in this episode to uh, fighting a bit more around Bavaria and opening up the Northern Italian Front. And expanding in North, North Africa to be honest. There's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff to do, as you would imagine, in a global war. First of all, we need to keep... Okay, they're going to tr starting from a funky direction, but they're also coming in from every direction as well. So these weaker units, they are also valuable. Something like that's pretty good. Remember, they can go through here as well now. So that will require a few more placements of stakes. They don't have to be super, super, you know, very well placed. Just something's better than nothing. Switch two sets of guns to look this way. Fire it well off. One set of guns to look this way. Fire it well off. Then we've got to deploy a handful more troops to make sure we're actually covering um, certain approaches. Let's make sure our cavalry is deployed out of the way. Make sure that our dragoons are fire it well off. Put our howitzers in the center. Chucking quick climb at people. Got a unit of chasseurs who are going to go up here. Uh, you could probably stand to be a bit closer. So yeah, the enemy's going to come in from multiple directions. One more, one unit of line we didn't adequately use completely. Actually, that's a bit of a funky way to deploy those troops. But the enemy general has been killed from the first salvo. So where was this? <laughs> okay, so it wasn't the true general. But yeah, so we can already see. There's a lot of cavalry coming. There we go. You guys man a handful of guns and fire the right direction. There's no one coming from this way anymore, so you can probably stand to go... Not here, because they've got artillery. But at least here. You're going to get a good volley off against... 19th horse guards. Come on, sound. Come back. Because the Lance Guards are coming in. The horse is coming in. Oh yeah, I haven't made them. Shoot. Yeah, this poor Lance Guard isn't going to last very long. Because, uh, yeah, they're just going to run straight into the stakes. And get shot to pieces. So still a handful, handful more coming from this direction, but they're all weaker infantry units. There is one howitzer, so they might gradually pick their way through that wall. But one cavalry unit is pushing, and here come 
There come a few more. One more has been repelled from crossing near the front of that city, front of that gate. This general's bodyguard has been killed. This is hor the 17th Horse Guards has been nearly entirely wiped out. It's ready. Provincial Cavalry might get wiped out. No, one made it. Another regiment of horses come in. He might get wiped out. Yes, there they go. Give me how it's firing at the at infantry at least. But yeah, there's dribs and drabs coming from from all sides, and none of them have really got the uh, the capacity to make an all-out offensive push. I mean, don't get me wrong, they have a handful of units. There's cavalry units. Yeah. That's the quick line coming in. Yeah, that cavalry, cavalry unit's completely dead, and this guy doesn't want to accept it. Those marines have been wiped out. This Royal Crassier guard are getting shot from the saddle. It's going to get even worse as they cross in front of the 139th. You do have to wonder why the AI decided this would be a good idea. They must have thought, ah, they have so many breaches, they must be, you know, things must be really be bad. Fusiliers coming in. Hopefully they didn't make too many more. Cassia guards are tired to get into a pistol war. There's the little pistols. But that does not look like it's going to be. It's going to go very well for them. So I am going to keep speeding up time because you guys have seen this battle plenty of times. So when it's just me quick climbing guys outside of the walls, it's not really anything crazy to watch out for. Not compared to watching cavalry get wiped out. I enjoy that. <laughs> Come on, charge in. Ooh, mercenaries. Let's watch the mercenaries get in. They might get hit by some shrapnel shot. Yeah, there's the, there's the shrapnel shot. And there's the quick line, down to five men. Yeah, this was this was a really really dumb battle on the part of the AI. Now the cavalry knows it can't push, so they feel they're getting a bit uh, antsy. See, this regiment of militia might actually do. Okay, because it is just... I've not got a huge amount of troops here, but this is why I have artillery. Yep, certainly helped. Okay, so there, there's the infantry. Okay, I might get one of my howitzers to start firing on these cavalry, just to make them make a decision, because right now they are just... Running and running back, running, running back, running, running back. Provincial cab coming in. See, there is a gap. They can go places if they like. There's we. I didn't put anyone there. Five men left. Four. So seven strong provincial cavalry. They might die. Depending on what this guy does. Oh no, he's ran in front of the spikes. Oh, there we go. He's dead anyway. Yeah, look how dumb this is. Like, they're standing here getting into shooting wars with guys on the wall. And it's really nice that they've all clustered on top of one another like that. Hey, it's the 26th Foot Guards. It might actually be too close for the shrapnel shot to take effect. It depends how early it detonates, I suppose. 
Doesn't matter. They've been taken out of the equation. Oh, here comes the 45th Regiment of Horse. They've lost 17 men, but that's not enough. They're coming back. Oh, you lucky soul. Oh. Sorry, fella. One cavalryman left, and he's gone. Yeah, this this is the AI was was very, very silly indeed. Then when the time's right, my cavalry will well actually the time is right now and from certain directions. Is these cavalry going to go out to clear out this gun team? Yeah, go mop them up. Actually, it's ready now. There's no one left except for the people that are um, that are artillery pieces. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm playing most of this in in sped up. Uh, we we them um, time sped up, but it's chiefly because there's there's really no point in <laughs> fighting it ordinarily. It wouldn't be as epic as previous times I fought this battle. Really, I should have just cut it, to be honest. I should have just not not shown you guys, but I didn't think about that until now. <laughs> but still, there we go. At least that's some more Swedish troops chewed up. Good Swedish troops that could have been put to better use. Yeah, lost 2,000 men and we lost 37. Well, at least that's cleared out a lot of the uh, weaker stacks that are marauding around the map. Yeah, I bet you're concerned about the uh, these men pushing up the rear. You think you can try and flank around us, do you, Sweden? Okay, now they've actually sieged us. That's a bit of a problem. Bavarians, as you can imagine, are digging in around Bavaria. Yeah, we've got a lot of battles to fight every turn <laughs> as Louisiana. So, 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 king dies! Uh -oh, who's my, who's my king? Okay, Francois the first, at least he's not terrible. Theodore died of natural causes! No! Well, at least it wasn't in battle and he's been re replaced by Antoine Laurent LaSalle. LaSalle, LaSalle, let's build a church school here. Yes. You continue to replenish. You can push up to this position here to bottle up the remaining Dagestan troops. Enemy raiding Ganja. Oi, oi. Okay, you, this army can come down and auto-resolve against these marauding little troops. Little armies, rather. Oh my god. Forward. You ask me why I hate the AI? Because of things like that. Make ready. Grind them into the Strength and Chop. Anything more? Your Majesty. Not foolish, foolish. So, new national leader. Workers on strike in Azerbaijan. Not anymore. Path blocked. You're not blocked. You're going to go this way, though. Okay. Understandably, there are actually more troops down around here than I would originally have liked. But this is part of the reason why we need to keep pressure up. Yes. Your Majesty. Make Make waiting for your order. Immediately. Ready to mm, for right. So we're gonna we're gonna block them here and push on Petrovskaya. Finland is upgrading the road network. See, this force has done a valiant job under siege, but I fear it will finally be lost, unless they attack it very, very soon. 
Obviously, we need to bring you around to hit Helmer and Matheson and push them, push them back east. One of you, Ferdinand and Constantine, are going to put Gdansk under siege. First of all, what what you should really do is work this out east to east to west. That's my my routine if I get if I'm unsure. Let me yes, move you Lord. across, move you out of the way. The Nicholas, Nicola, Charles, and Ninon, 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 you can push against this Ottoman army. And it's important, I suppose, every time we get a chance to uh, attack a large force of enemy troops, we just take it. Because there's only so long they can keep up with this rate of attrition and these numbers of troops being killed on a regular basis. Especially as it's the Ottomans, you know, they. they they can churn them out if you let them. We can't just sit here and wait for them to uh, make a make a decision whether or not they're going to attack. We're going to we are going to have to pick them up on it at times. But this is lovely artillery position. So it's fire shrapnel shot from these two units of artillery. Let's stretch the line out to here. Deploy our other two guns. Two infantry and a grenadier unit out on this flank. An infantry unit and a grenadier unit on the left. So this unit, this side gets the heavy cavalry because they're they're slightly less well equipped on the right. Deploy quick climbing guns. Ah, they know. These chaps know what they're doing. Too late. I didn't deploy them fast enough. So who are you? Mamelukes! First of all, you need to hit that Royal Mameluke Guard. You need to hit that Nizam Infantry. You men charge the Mamelukes, you go stop firing. The left bank unit of howitzers engage the Nizam as they're coming in. Oh, that's a great quick carriage to shock. It managed to knock through all these units. So let's go check out my light cavalry wing. With my general, let's get ready to send them forward to try and flank and knock out some of these howitzers. You guys blast this infantry formation that's moving up. I think that's the right call. Especially because the canister shot or the shrapnel shot should carry through these units. Quick climb coming in. As well as canister shot. Shrapnel shot. I keep confu not confusing them, but I just keep getting them mixed up. So they've got a Mameluk unit back here on guard. Slowly leading my men away from the fight. And my infantry haven't even... You men fire at will like once more. God, the shrapnel shot here must be doing devastating amounts of damage. The gunners have limbered up. Look, another main battle lines have been joined. I don't know why. It always feels like I want to switch to canister shot when I get close when I get to a close range. I don't know whether it's far and it fires any quicker or anything, but yeah, the Mamelukes have realised what's going on. There we go, and they they're breaking.
So they fired a pistol shot into my grenadiers. So you fire a canister shot and chase and keep keep the pressure up. Chase down the Mamelukes. Who are you? Nizam Infantry. How it's uh, give them some support because they're a bit on the flank. You hit them because they're chasing down my infantry. You guys start dropping it on these square formations. Grenadiers get involved in this infantry fight. Some good quick line coming in. Now my general's been has been felled fighting against the Mamelukes. Start to break the line out. He's broken, eh? Bad engagement if my general's light infantry unit general is broken. So unit try and engage the Mamelukes without killing my men. You guys both switch to canister shot. Engage the rifles in point blank range. So you guys can engage the Nizam infantry. That auto came back, so continue to harass them with howitzer fire just in time, maybe. Yes. So if I can run side on. If I attack them, maybe I can make them break just before I... We both broke at the same time, I accept that. Yeah, it's really making me think... Maybe I don't want... Maybe I don't want um, light cavalry in battles against later... Um, you know, late game, uh, late game armies. So you guys go get involved to help out the Mamelukes, even though you might not make it. Because they are chipping away at my QRCS. Let's hope some grenadiers provide the needed support. You men blast the Mamelukes with canister, with shrapnel shot. Hold them off. These men push up to chase down the Nizam lights. You guys pivot to help finish off the infantry there. You guys just halt fire. So it is just a light infantry unit. So they aren't used to withstanding large amounts of traditional musketry. Snizam unit's not going to survive against my two units in a sustained fight. Okay, you men fall back into position because these guys can now load up with sh shrapnel shot and hit that Nizam unit. There we go, now they're losing. It's taking them a long time, but now they are losing. Yeah, there's our rifles. Yeah. This infantry's not going to like marching into range.
Good, they're shattered. Okay, you guys might actually try and support that Nizam Light fight. I mean, everyone's been cleared out. Hey, the Light Cavalry came back. So come over here to help out. Yeah, they are knocking out groups of riflemen. Back you go. There we go. God, that was actually not a fantastic engagement, but still, this is why we have so many armies. So we need to uh, replace the general. Let's push him back. You guys recruit a general. Paul Mer Merle, 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 Cousin Merle. Your Majesty. You guys push up. Your Majesty. You guys push up along the river. You guys go nearby to support. Your Majesty. Okay, good. Make ready. You drive up through the centre as well. By the left. Your Majesty. Setting up camp. Forward. Sir. Okay, do you guys just hit? Well, you guys get up here to block where this army can do too much damage. You're getting back to Persia as are you. Is this force going to smack these Ottoman units here? I think the answer is probably. Let's begin clearing them out. Let's begin a bit of an offensive. Because I think it's probably best to, to uh, treat the campaign map as very much like a east to west thing. So I don't get. I may as well focus on one area and fight all the battles there before moving to another and, and hopping around. Otherwise, that's a recipe for. Uh, Recipe for disaster. But let us see. So because we're going to go on the offensive, we want to create a bombardment line. An infantry advance line. Gurkhas on the flanks. We've got a heavy, heavy cavalry presence on the flanks as well. So I mean infantry, well inf infantry advance. Quick climbing and quick climbing and go quick climbing how it's focus on you focus on that unit of infantry, you guys all focus on the gunners. How it's says focus on the rifles. Because the bulk of the enemy reinforcements are coming from the left, so we're gonna to want to push up like this. We may as well try and continue the the spirit push up in the spirit of taking the hill. Hello, camel gunners. Oh my my guys just got hit by my own shrapnel shot. Stake up there to be careful of. My howitzers are going to limber up and advance. Beware of the stake. I'm 
Okay, so my infantry line. Oh, no, no, stay where you are, because you've got the... The Nizam infantry returned. That detonated. General's bodyguard deploy the cuirassier. You guys actually hold. Let the guard de corps get involved, and the Gurkhas will do the do the work. Between these guys, they'll soon clear out the enemy. These gunners can focus on those camel nomads. You need to charge those camel nomads. And this is why I got Gurkhas for engagements like this. Maybe the enemy general has fallen. Ain't no good against heavy cavalry, boss. Let's get all my artillery to focus on the Armenian archers. My infantry line needs to push up. You need to try and set those camels, because they're, yeah, they were on a, a dangerous path. So the Gurkhas are going to try to cut them down. These men all begin to pour fire into the Armenian archers at point blank range. So I've had to charge those cavalry on alone. Let's push you guys up to the top of the hill. Keep doing some good damage to them. Try to get my general to come down here, but let's get those Gurkhas into the fight. You chase down those Camel Nomads, because they've only lost half their number. Push the Gurkhas up, unless the, in case they want to try and make a, a thing out of it. See, my generals are more than enough to chase down these Camels, and they are now shattered, so let's get them back into position. You go smash the Armenian archers. Because we have a... Okay, I need to commit my cavalry up here to do something, because right now they're a bit useless. Good camels, good. Join the fight. Gurkhas chased down the general's bodyguard. You guys charge the Mountain Nizam, they will likely get a shot off first. And my Curassier is going to get a good charge against the, the Mamelukes and they will likely cause them to expire. So my infantry should be opening up against the Armenian archers. Good stuff. Oh, very well. Let's start to fill some of my Gurkhas in to support my cavalry. My infantry wants to shoot the camel nomads and my cavalry wants to chase down the... Chase down the infantry. Okay, good. Okay, let's retarget my guns because they're now doing friendly fire damage. Let's 
I'm not getting enough use out of my Gurkhas. Let's run my Gurkhas over to this fight. It looks like they're about to ring the bell. Okay, Gurkhas go this way. Cavalry. Go after that unit there. So they've smashed this Israeli unit. There's General's Bodyguard. There's lots of other stuff coming in still. I mustn't get too obsessed about trying to bayonet charge everything. Try recall the cavalry. Try to. Kurdish hillmen are down. And now we, they're now in position, but let's trundle them up. There we go. My heavy cavalry can stay behind my nice safe infantry line. My Gurkhas can smash the Desert Warriors on the flank. There's still some guys trying to get around the flank. Hit the Desert Warriors. Good stuff there. You men charge the Semini, you men charge that archer unit. I mean these guys are they're they're blown, they're tired. The Seminis might actually be able to kill them. So you guys stay like you are now to hit to make the camels hit you. Oh. Don't worry about it, is the message of the day apparently pivot my infantry line across. Gurkhas have been engaged by some infantry guardsmen. They're shattered to come and help my men there. Sadly the Gurkhas have fallen. But they might come back. They've accepted that charging into a square isn't a good idea. They've got to be careful because this, this unit can fire into the backside. Come back, Gurkhas, you've not lost that many of you. Uh oh. All my blown cavalry has got to get hit by Mamelukes. them out of the game I think. So let's see how well my men can chop away at theirs. It's the new name of the game. My infantry line is engaging them heroically. Oh these Gurkhas came back. Get them back in. Have to charge these cavalrymen into the side of this camel engagement, but that could precipitate an immediate collapse of the enemy. Yeah, this this over here isn't unexpected, so let's hit them with my artillery. There's only so much those men can do.
you man charred this array to here. Let's get them involved. Walk these Gurkhas over here, ready to engage the cavalry there. New men charge Miss Aureli in the rear. These guys advance. Or well, what, to be honest, you... Go on a tour to hit the howitzer there, you go on a tour to hit that howitzer. These two units can engage the general's bodyguard. Uh, where's my general? Charge the Mamelukes. Hit the Janissaries. Now it's a switch to round shot. Philip Babouf is on the scene. These are elite to Sirelli, it would seem. Those men have actually routed from Kurdish Hillman fire. You guys can try and get the try and get the infantry guards, but I suspect they are too close. In this central combat, actually, who's ah? Oh, there's Janissaries in here as well. I see. And you move forward after the Hillmen. So th these guys were very much just trying to knock out sporadic. Artillery units. Yeah, I got too too happy getting into fisticuffs. Come on, you sec bands. So the Janissaries are going to hit my artillery. Well, this army might get battered around a bit. So you form square to chase off the. You form square to chase off the camels. You guys go after them. You guys also bend it charge the sec bands. There you go, my cavalry. Smash into their infantry guard, stop my, how my field artillery from firing. So they're shaken from the weight of cavalry against them. Actually, you guys hit the 19th Order firing up the hill. That's the end of the camel, so let's run. These goes around the rear to charge into the back of the Janissaries. And then bayonet charge. Although that did that is that was what caused my original army to rout. They were fighting just so much they, they were killing my men in 360 degrees. say just a big circle of troops that are actually not that bad at melee combat surrounded by troops that are they're all right in melee combat but it looks like they're finally getting the message halt the artillery kill the kill the these guys Kill the Janissaries. They're quite elite Janissaries now. Vet 4. Smash. 
I'm going to continue just to make sure that we do take advantage of our numerical superiority and uh, clear out the remaining units. So Philip Babouf still chasing those desert warriors. So you guys form form up to, ch to uh, shoot down that artillery unit, if that's possible. There we go, it's taking them out. One last Israeli. Ah, then it's back to our general over here to kill the last handful of Royal Genesary Guards. But that was a, a dodgy battle, I suppose that'll teach me for recording late at night. <laughs> so that army's probably have to take some time out to refit. We kept both our Gurkhas, thankfully. As well as all our artillery. Good, let's push them back. So you can replenish, fall back. Valentin, take up the position at the front. So you guys, you guys all need to get two more units of Good cavalry. Curacier are a good example. You men have this full stack penned in, so I'm not worried about that. You guys might be a bit exposed. I think the next fight is to take... No, you, need, you, you guys need to replenish, actually. Get back up to this hill. So we're still besieging Tbilisi, although it would probably be easy to just attack it. Let's just keep sieging it. And then the question is, do I take you and hit Erbil? Because, again, we just need to keep... Well, to be honest, I think I should. The pressure, as it's just the one, because we, we've now pretty much sent the bulk of their forces actually retreating backwards in disarray, there's this fight, then there'll be another follow-up fight against this stack, and we've really, we've really got the momentum. So let's continue with our push. So we've got that momentum, we've got the numbers, we can keep advancing and moving our line up and make our way to the Black Sea. We can push through the Caucasus, we can push through Turkey, land in the Balkans. We can do it, fellas. So let's be a bit more careful with this one. Considering... Uh, actually, well, I don't know, I think I'd rather actually like to be be forward. Be forward and advance up the field a bit. Let's got a couple of guards on this flank. Obviously I haven't dropped any. I don't know, I might actually keep some Okay, let's keep two pairs of two sets of guns back here. In which case then I probably want to divvy these up a bit better. I like having some guns back because it means I can use them to, you know, lob shells over the heads of the enemy and go after some pretty important important targets in the rear. So let's take this infantry line. I heard a shrapnel shot was over. Point square, because they're coming in. Counter charge with my cavalry. I 
before the Tata get involved. So you hit the Camel Gunners, you guys hit that Royal Cairo Infantry Guards, you guys deploy into square because they're coming, same with you. Deploy my light cavalry forward. That out unit aim at the Tartar. These Mamelukes are upset. Fortunately, we couldn't do overwhelming damage to them before they left. Fortunately, my quick climb is too close for that for them to do to have done too much damage there. Okay, this howitzer unit has to start dropping quick climb onto the artillery in the bunker because that's what's causing us problems. Infantry behind the lines start bombarding. Battlefield targets. They aim at that cavalry. You guys aim there. And limber. Quick claim hit against the Tartar would be nice. You guys, you guys are going to have to get involved. Yeah, Mamluk's got my general. You might get him, Benoit Ajuro. Your time might be up. So you guys get back and help take them out. You guys pivot up. Let's try to get my general's bodyguard back up to the main fight. Blowing holes into the riflemen. The Tartar came back. About face. You hit the Tartar. General's bodyguard, if you made it back up to the main combat, you have. Good, because now we can get you guys to support. You guys keep blasting the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Good quick claim hit coming in. More volleys in. You guys should knock out the Tartar fairly quickly. I mean, central. I mean, the central part of the, the line just has to hold. Doesn't have to win, it just has to hold. You guys hit the Royal Infantry Guards because they're on the flank. Ignore the artillery for now, or don't. Good, so that's the cavalry done and the infantry done. They're broken once more. Fight the Mamelukes again. You men pivot. So you men start to blast the royal. She blasted the Semini. You guys keep fighting against the Mamelukes. Ah, they just killed one of my guardsmen. You devils. 
Can you guys hit the camel gunners? Yeah, some of your shots are actually bugged. You guys pivot like so. You guys pivot like so. You guys take out that howitzer. 37th, hit the infantry guards. Make sure you're hitting them. Hurrah! Let's mass my remaining cavalry on the right flank to go hit these Janissary riflemen. The foot guards should be stable enough. Clear out. Yeah, you should probably clear them out. It's the artillery killed. Let's see if you can attack the general's bodyguard. There we go. So the add, the add, the addition of this. Next foot guard unit will help shore up the right flank. Ah no! It's died fighting riflemen. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of that fight. Push up the front. These twelve pounders. All right. I guess they do want the fight. You men chase, start to chase down some of the grenadiers. Running away from them, just fight them. We still got one cavalry unit to start to do some good work. The least the general staff can do is uh, take out his, take out the men that killed him. Spike line almost took me out. Hit the Royal Janissary Infantry Guard. That's a good decision. And then all the howitzers focus fire on the third order. Good stuff. That's knocked them out. Knock out these two fellas, and then get onto the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. And the general's trying but failing to kill those remaining men. These guys are going to push the flank of the third because it looks like we're not able to do the killing blow there. So I might speed up time. And right, continue. Oh, keep it, ignore them then. If you're not going to do the job properly, can you chase down the Kurdish hillmen? Nah, you guys chase down the Semini. No, 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 no. Oh, I just caught it. Yeah. It just became aware of that 
new defensive line. Let's stop all our artillery from firing. Let's keep mauling these Armenian archers. All that's to the left is this third order. And these were all Cairo infantry guards. Come on, get a couple more kills. Uh, I guess not. Now it's all up to this unit to kill the last one. This last uh, infantry unit. One man left. Got him. Again, it wasn't close. It was just uh, dodgy. Very, very dodgy. Yeah, it was Benoit Augereau who's been fighting with us for so, so many years. Man. Forward. Just another general. Char Charles de Castor. Charles de Castor. Your humble sir. Bastien Perrault. Yes, sir. And Adrian. Okay, considering my general run, yes, I'm not going to send this guy in. Well, I might just go do some building work, because by the time I click end turn, all of these will disappear. Okay, that was what I did click on. Okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, once we've, once we've pushed into here, this, the battle's not over. We've still got a lot of the Ottomans in the Balkans left. But let's take our next yes, force sir. and go here at Savali Hamid. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.